We'll start with the A1 pre-warning threshold. The alarm threshold can be changed by using the CC Vision computer software, which is available free of charge on the product page of the XM5000 on the Dreger homepage www.dreger.com. The A1 alarm sounds if the concentration is higher than normal, but doesn't yet constitute an acute hazard. The audible, visual and vibration alarms are all activated periodically. A1 alternates in the display with the gas concentration. An A1 alarm can be acknowledged by pressing the OK key. The alarm automatically stops as soon as the concentration drops below the defined threshold. Warning! If this alarm is activated, leave the danger area immediately. The A2 main alarm signals danger of death. An audible double tone sounds. The visual and vibration alarms are periodically repeated. A2 is shown in the display. The A2 main alarm cannot be acknowledged. This is how to recognize an STEL alarm. The audible, visual and vibration alarms are repeated periodically. The STEL symbol flashes in the display on the right. The gas concentration alternates with A2 on the left. Once again, you must leave the danger zone immediately. The alarm cannot be acknowledged. In a TWA alarm, audible, visual and vibration alarms are also periodically repeated. The TWA symbol flashes in the display on the right. A2 alternates with the gas concentration. You must leave the danger zone immediately. The A2 alarm cannot be acknowledged. The TWA and STEL values are deleted as soon as the device is reset. If the battery of your Dreger XM5600 will only last for another 20 minutes or so, the battery pre-alarm is activated. The audible, visual and vibration alarms are activated periodically. The battery symbol flashes at the bottom right. You can acknowledge the alarm by pressing the OK key. The main battery alarm uses the acoustic, optical and vibration alarm to indicate that the battery is running out. A countdown in the display counts down from 10, after which the device switches itself off. If this X symbol appears in the display and the audible, visual and vibration alarms are activated, there is an instrument error. You can acknowledge the alarm by pressing the OK button, but the X icon remains in the display. Continue working with another device and forward the device with the error message to the service department. An overrange alarm indicating that the measuring range has been exceeded is signalled by the audible, visual and vibration alarms. In addition, this symbol alternates in the display with the A2 main alarm symbol. The ambient air has concentrations that exceed the measuring range of the relevant sensor. In this case, leave the danger zone immediately. This alarm cannot be acknowledged. There is a special feature in the Dreger XM5000 with CATEC sensor. A lock alarm is sounded if the measuring range is exceeded by a significant amount, meaning that very high concentrations of combustible substances are received by the CATEX channel. This CATEX lock alarm can be manually acknowledged by turning the device off and then on again in clean air. The lock alarm is displayed by this icon. In an underrange alarm in which the measuring range is not reached, the audible, visual and vibration alarms are repeated. The underrange symbol is shown in the respective measuring field. This indicates that the measured value is negative. 
This can occur if, for example, a fresh air calibration has been carried out in a range in which concentrations were already present. Perform fresh air calibration immediately in an area of fresh air. This alarm cannot be acknowledged. An X symbol at the top right indicates an error. Press OK for 3 seconds. An error code is now shown in the display. To find out what this error code means, please see the technical manual posted on the product webpage at www.träger.com. By pressing the OK key again, other error codes may be shown. To abort, press the plus key to return the device to measuring mode. The exclamation mark on the right in the display refers to a notice. Press the OK button for 3 seconds. An information code is shown on the display. The list of information codes can be found in the technical manual, which is provided on the product page on the web at www.drega.com. Press the OK button once again to display any additional notice codes. To abort, Press the plus key to return the device to measuring mode.